Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on overview training on SAP Datasphere with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In this video series, we are learning about the basic concepts of SAP Datasphere on a cloud system. By far in the last episode, I showed you how to connect your SAP BW system, which is an on-premise system with SAP Datasphere. In today's episode, we will learn how can you connect SAP HANA Cloud from BTP system to SAP Datasphere? Before we get started, please smash the like button, share and subscribe the channel so that your colleagues can also take a benefit. Do not forget to hit the bell icon so you will get notified for free video content once it is available on anubotrainings.com. For detailed training on SAP Datasphere, feel free to subscribe our Datasphere training exclusively available only on anubautrainings.com. So let's get started and talk about how to connect our Datasphere account with SAP HANA Cloud. Okay, let's move on now and learn how do you connect now this particular database, this HANA Cloud database with Datasphere. That's our main bread and butter. Our goal is to not learn HANA in this training. Our goal is to connect our HANA Cloud database with Datasphere. So go to Datasphere and go to connections in SAP Datasphere and then we will just create a new connection. Click on create and you see there are a variety of connections. So if you come down, you will find SAP HANA connection. What is this connection can be used for? Data flows, remote tables and replication flow. All three things we can do with this connection. So I choose that. It asks me what type of database it is, cloud or on-premise. For cloud database, you need a cloud connector. You see, cloud connector is mandatory because it's on-premise. For cloud database, no cloud connector is required. Let's put the host name. Where do you get that? So go back to HANA Database Explorer. Right-click and say Properties. This is the host name. Copy that. Come back to the data sphere and paste the same. Port number is always 443, always, it's default, it's HTTPS port. Username, you can use DBA admin, or you can use the user I've created, Anubhav, with password. So we just created a dedicated user, Anubhav, for the connectivity from outside world to this database. Yes, perfect, that is it. I'll take a screenshot of this, and I will put this screenshot also in the PPT of our training material. So you guys can go ahead and accordingly follow the same. So I'm going to come back, put it here. And in this, of course, you need to put your host name, username and password. Let's move on to the next step. I give a business name to my uh, connection. So I can say HANA Cloud Anubhav. Yes, Anubhav underscore HANA Cloud. Click on create connection. This will create a database connection. Wow, there you go, there you go. Anubhav HANA Cloud connection is ready. All right, so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Datasphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end-to-end -end on SAP Datasphere SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubautrainings.com. Also, shoot us an email on contact at anubautrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anubhav signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.